Hey, I'm Alan. Welcome to another Toxic Google event. We are here on stage with Melody Yang from the Gazillion Bubble Show. Uh, I just want to dive right in here and start talking about uh, the family history. This is, you, we were talking a second ago, this is the Yang family show. Yeah. Uh, it's, get into family history. Tell me, like, how you got here on, in New York. Well, I mean, it pretty much started from my father and his imagination. Um, when he was young, he was always fascinated with bubbles because one of his dad's friends brought over a bubble toy and then my dad as he grew up he started he my dad was very poor at the time and so he was working uh he was doing a lot of street performances and so um once he got older around 16 17 he started traveling around europe with my uncle and they were doing like juggling acts magic acts so it wasn't bubbles yet it wasn't bubbles yet but bubbles was always in the back of his mind so he always was testing different formulas and trying to test out different um, soaps and detergents or mm -hmm. whatever to find out a formula where he can create, you know, bubbles that are large enough to, you know, do so many things to manipulate a lot better. And then after that, um, yeah, he came up with a performance just with bubbles and it started off as like a, a 10 minute performance mm -hmm. you know and him and my mom when they met also my mom met him when she was quite young and they started to perform together and then they were traveling on cruise ships they would work in uh they would do street performances they would work in nightclubs and all over the place all over europe first and then once my brother and myself were born, my dad's like, hey, why don't we just let them try it, you know? <laughs> and so for us, it was all fun and games. It was play. And then he started putting us into competitions and talent shows. And how old were you at this point? I was, I started, I would say I started at three. I always say four, but three, I would, that's when I got on stage. So four is when I actually started, I was able to um, create tricks, mm -hmm. you know, with my brother. But three, I was just put in a bubble. Like, I was the one that walked <laughs> on stage, and my brother would just, you know, put me inside a bubble. But that's when um, me and my brother started to perform, pretty much. And then from there, we just started learning different tricks. And it just grew more and more over time, you know? Mm -hmm. so. so you've been here on stage, or I guess... Have you been on this stage for 12 years? You've been in New York for 12 years. We've been in New York for 12 years. I've only been here, what, like seven years? So, so who seven, was, eight years. So yeah. your brother, your father, sorry, your father brought the show here. My father brought the show here. So this full production, it actually was built in Korea at the time, mm -hmm. way before. And then someone wanted to bring uh, the show here to New York. I forgot who it was. I was so young then. Um, so my dad wanted to test it out, and he brought the show here. And we were only supposed to run for about two weeks. Now we've been running here for about twelve years. Yeah. So it's been pretty good, pretty grateful. So now, now obviously, time has gone by. Uh, you've been doing this, how long did you say, six years now? Here in New York, yeah, yeah about six, seven years. Do you, have a, do you have a title? Do you call yourself like the, the bubble connoisseur? What, what do you call yourself? I mean, I get so many different um, names. I get like bubble princess, bubble queen, you know, bubble master. But I would say my dad's the bubble master. I don't know. I just call myself a bubble artist. I like that. So you yeah. prefer prefer artists. Yeah. Yeah. Artists is nice. So there are there still five people who perform. I was looking on the website. Mm -hmm. So with so I guess who who still comes on stage? Who rotates through? We we all perform. So sometimes we'll have shows overseas. Mm -hmm. Like my brother right now, he's working in Orlando, mm -hmm. and um, my father he's trying to work into the theme park business right now. So he's working on something in Asia with that stuff. And my mother, she kind of rotates with me sometimes here and there. She's like, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting a little old. I don't want to work anymore. I'm like, mom, come on. Like, you <laughs> still look great. You're fine. And my uncle too. So my uncle, he just did the show. He did a tour in China. So that's wow. interesting. So you guys have basically franchised this mm -hmm. out to the family, more mm -hmm. or less. Yeah. I want to touch on the world records. Yes. You have 18? The family has 18? Uh, it's like mixed. It's some is my dad, some is my mom, some is all of us together. Mm -hmm. I, I only have three 
but Only. it was broken. How many? I have zero. Okay, I yeah. know. But still, I mean, compared to my dad, he just keeps breaking them or he keeps inventing new ones, you know? So the ones that I have are the most people inside a bubble and the world's largest bubble. So world's largest bubble. How big was the world's largest bubble? That was 170 feet long. Wow. Yeah. And then you've also got, I mean, the family between all of you, you have elephant in a bubble. Yeah. my dad one of my did, favorites. My dad did that. He did an elephant in a bubble and Peter went crazy, but <laughs> the elephant loved it. You know, like after my dad, he changed the location. He, when he, he put the elephant inside a bubble, the, the elephant loved it and other, the other elephants were coming. They were trying to like pop the bubbles. Like they were ha having a good time. Oh, like, yeah. So no elephants harmed no. in the making of that record. No, they were actually really happy. So what is the record that you are, that you as for the whole family, the collection, what's the record that you're most proud of? Mm, I would say now, I would, I would still say the world's largest bubble. Not the, the longest bubble wall. Well, that is, uh, that is the, that is the one. Yeah. Because we created yeah. it as, a wall instead of one huge yeah. bubble. You know? How many people did you have inside the most people record bubble? You know, we actually had 200 people, but they didn't count certain people because they were kids. So you have to be like a certain height. So that turned out to be 181 people. That's ridiculous. I know, but hey, I'll Wait, take so it. Are you going to try again? Why not? Yeah. All right. I would like to. I just. We just need to get everybody together. But right now, it's like we're all all over the place. Well, I think uh, you should try that. We'll film that for you. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're talking about uh, uh, performing around the world. Uh, normally, I guess, how do you how do you travel with the show? Is, this is obviously sort of a complicated set. But mm -hmm. when you get hired, you, you and the family get hired out mm -hmm. to go. You said Danny, your brother, is in mm -hmm. Orlando right yeah. now. I know that you've been to Orlando, mm -hmm. all over Europe, you said. Uh, how, how do you decide what goes where and, and how and who, who does what show? So it really depends. For me, I'm mostly in New York uh, because I like to be in New York. Um, or it depends like if we travel somewhere. Uh, my brother, when we bring the show overseas, uh, then we would usually have another set of all of our bubble machines, our bubble props, our lights, our sound, our LED screens, our LED trees, you know. So we have another set here in the U.S. and we have another set in Asia. Mm -hmm. Then we have another set in Europe, you know. So once we confirm a show overseas, that's when we bring that whole production there. And one of the artists goes there. Interesting. And sometimes we'll rock, paper, scissors, who goes where. Really? Actually, we've done that once. <laughs> but, um, cool. So you said your dad's working on something new. Is it normally him that comes with comes up with new things or are you like in your apartment here in New York just like playing with mm -hmm. with the bubble mix you're trying to do new things? Well, it's usually all of us together. So if we're all here at one time and we're someone's performing on stage, we'll all come together and we'll see what we can do that's different mm -hmm. or we'll come across certain things as we're performing because all of our performances, they're not exactly the same sometimes because bubbles are unpredictable we can manipulate it so much but still if it bursts it bursts you know mm. and we have to come up with something else on the spot but um when we have those kind of situations that's when we share our ideas with each other like um recently what did we do the bubble snowman we know we weren't doing that before and then christmas was coming i was like oh, i want to try to make a snowman so i made a bubble snowman and then my brother started to do it and he started to get better at it and i'm like Okay, I need to <laughs> step up my game. So. so you have the sibling rival rivalry mm -hmm. still yeah, a little bit there. Sometimes. I think one of the most interesting facts about about you you guys in general, uh, I think it was Denny that told me this when when you guys came in to perform it at mm -hmm. the Google office was that uh, that you did the bubble design for SpongeBob SquarePants the musical. Yeah. So is that that's true? Yeah. Not the. What do you mean the bubble design? We yeah. we we help them with their bubbles mm -hmm. so they were having bubble problems and people have bubble problems yes yes they had bubble problems my brother came in and their bubbles weren't working so they would they would appear and disappear so quickly and also the positioning of where they put their machines so my brother being the bubble consultant 
came in and told them where to place it. And also we started to provide them our solution. Mm -hmm. And now they are having zero problems and everything is great. Um, I've seen the show and the bubbles are, are quite good. good. Yeah, All right. yeah, good. I enjoy it. Yeah. Um, so you might get the impression that being a bubble show, that it's all like just for kids, the audience, you see the kids jumping around, you see the photos, everything. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? Do you think it's just for kids or do you think, do you do it for the adults as well? I do it for everyone because I think every single person in this world still has a kid inside them. So I think when people see bubbles, it touches that kid inside them, no matter what. And when I'm performing on stage, you don't see only the parents, I mean, only the kids reach out for the bubbles. You see the parents, the grandparents, and everyone, every time they do it, they're smiling, mm -hmm. you know? Bubbles just makes people happy, and I think it's for everybody. Yeah, it's for kids, because it's something that you remember when you're young, and it's something that's so fascinating that you can't even wrap your mind around, because you're like, what is this floating object? It's not a water, it's not water, it's not a solid, you know? Right. But it's, it's a water-based sphere, and so I think that's what always kept me going because it's to see people people captured in that moment right yeah obviously uh you guys are here at new world stages yep. in uh, new york city and you can catch ticket information more information about the show at gazillionbubbleshow.com mm -hmm. uh, gzn bubble show at gzn bubble show on twitter and instagram yes. follow them like them share them it's wonderful come see the show Thank you so much for uh, for chatting with us, Thank and we you. Uh, we're going to show us some footage of the performance you guys did for us. Great. All right. Mm -hmm.
Breaks and promises. I got more than my share. I'm tired of giving my love. All right, check.
like one too. Hey, how are you guys enjoying the show so far? Pretty good? All right, well, before we continue any further, I would like to tell you guys a little bit more about myself. My name is Denny Yang. I'm 27 years old, and I still blow bubbles. <laughs> uh, I do own two Guinness Records, one for the world's largest bubble of 170 feet in length, and the second one, which was for the most people inside of a soap bubble. Any guesses of how many people? Try 181. <laughs> so <laughs> you can imagine how big these bubbles are, right? Now, unfortunately, I can't do it here for you, but I did bring one tiny video clip to show everybody. Okay. All right. <laughs> here we go. That's your cue. <laughs> so the record was actually held in Beijing, China, and uh, the style of the bubble itself was designed to be like the Great Wall of China. This is going to be the video of the world's largest bubble, which took nearly two months of preparations yeah. and almost 500 gallons of bubble soap solution. And it's a lot of bubble soap. <laughs> Uh, the record was helping my entire family, so as you can see, my father, mother, sister, and finally my uncle. And here we go. Now, the bubble itself had a surface area of nearly 5,000 square feet. And of course, it took my entire family of performers to do it. Yeah, let's check it out one last time. And so is it now? The current record for the world's largest bubble is still at 170 feet in length. With a happy uncle. <laughs> oh, I do appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, I really do. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate it. So uh, for the next part of the performance, um, I'd like to actually introduce my sister. So let's uh, give her a warm welcome. Melody. <laughs> everyone. Thanks, Danny. Uh, me and Danny actually, well, you guys are probably wondering how the heck did we get into this business, right? I mean, me and my brother, we've been performing since I was about three and him four. Both our parents were performers and they both started out uh, juggling, magic acts, uh, acrobats, you guys name it. And they were street performers at first. And then my father came up with bubbles and he was always fascinated about bubbles, just like we are every single day. Every time we see a bubble, we stop to stare, right? So from there, my dad created a solution where he could create a show out of just bubbles. And from there, me and Danny came along and then he started to teach us when we were little toddlers and we were performing in circuses and galas all over the world, all over Europe especially. So and yeah, we would, I guess, get punished if we don't do good bubbles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I mean, that's pretty much about how we got into it. So for this part, I do want to show you guys how to make your own bubbles using just your hands and bubble soap. Right. And I'm going to need two volunteers. Big okay. smiles. Let's see. All right, let's see. Uh, I want to see who is sitting nicely down in their seat. OK, let's see. I'm going to get two people. All right, big smiles. See over here. Hmm. <laughs> Do you want to come? Yeah, come. Let's go. Hmm? All right. Uh, let's go. Can you step up on that? You got it? All right. I'm going to need one more person, OK? All right, let's see. You want to stay right here for me? Let's see. I see a boy in a blue shirt right over there. Yeah, blue t-shirt. Come on, buddy. All right. There we go. Watch your step, okay? It's a little slippery. <laughs> so I'm going to need one of you stand here and one right over there. Awesome. What is your name? Olivia. Olivia. Nice to meet you. And what's your name? Eddie. Eddie. Nice to meet you guys. So inside here, I have a bowl of bubble solution. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bubble, and I just want you guys to copy exactly what I do, okay? All right? So watch me first. All right, Olivia. Watch this. Looks pretty easy, right? No. <laughs> All right, you guys try it. Let's see what you guys got. Oh, not too bad. Go. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to walk you guys through it step by step, all right? 
So then when you guys go home, you guys can do this at home. Now he's like, I'm just going to keep going. All right, so first, Olivia, you guys want to watch me? Your hand has to be wet. Otherwise, the bubble's going to pop if it touches anywhere that's dry. Next, I'm going to make an OK sign. You guys see that? I'm going to dip my hand in all the way through, OK? And now I'm just going to flip my wrist backwards a little bit and blow a stream of air. Not too strong, not too soft. And this part is very important. I'm going to close that hole so then we can capture the air inside. Yeah? Let's try it again, guys. You want to get your hand all the way in. Let's make an OK sign. Make an OK sign. It's cold, I know, but it's clean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it. Oh. Make sure to close the hole, OK? To capture the air. Minimal. All right, not bad. Not bad. All right, so we're going to move on to something really cool, OK? This time, we're going to make smoke bubbles. How's that sound? Oh, nice. You want to pass it to me? And now you're going to put it in your pocket and take it home, OK? <laughs> All right, guys. Now for the next part. Olivia, can you dip both your hands into the solution? There we go. It's not there anymore. All right, let's get soaked. I know it's cold, but don't worry about it. We're going to hold our hand out like this. Perfect. All right. So when you guys try this at home, you're going to ask your parents for a lot of money, OK? I'm just joking. <laughs> Stay there. Don't move. So this is a water-based um, smoke. It's non-toxic. It's very light, and it's easy to control. And now, Olivia, can you guys connect the bubble together? Or do that again. Careful, OK? I'm going to make it first, and I'll let you know when to connect it. All right. It's all right. Bubbles pop. It's normal. Hands are dry. Have you guys ever wondered why bubbles make you happy? Yeah, they are fun to play with, but it always brings back memories, especially for us older people. I mean, I can do this forever. All right, now let's connect it. There we go. <laughs> awesome, guys. Perfect. Let's give them a round of applause. Here, you want to dry your hands out? There we go. Here's a towel. Don't move, OK? I got you guys something. All right. You want to hold on to this? I'll grab that. OK. You keep those, OK? Just make sure you don't drink them. All right. Thank you, guys. Watch your step when you go down, OK? You were this way, right? Watch the stairs. Got it? All right. <laughs> OK, so for the next part, I want to put some people inside a bubble. And I'm going to need uh, another volunteer. So let's see here. Um, we got someone over there, over there. Let's see. I want to see big smiles. Who's, who's excited to be here at Google? Because I know I am. <laughs> Do you want to come? Let's go. All right, watch your step. We're going to go in the center here. Tell me, what is your name? Owen. Owen? How old are you, Owen? Seven. Seven years old. Where are you from? New York. From New York. Very nice. So you came all the way from New York to see the show? Oh, thanks. <laughs> well, Owen, you're going to stand right here. You're going to look at everyone and just smile, OK? You don't have to do anything. All right. Stay right there. Here we go. How about that? <laughs> Let's do that one more time. <laughs> awesome. Owen, stay here, OK? I'm going to put another person in the bubble, so I'm going to find you a beautiful girl. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. Girls, 
You want to come? All right, here, let me help you, okay? Let's stand right next to Owen here. Perfect. What is your name? Rachel. What is it? Rachel. Rachel, right? How old are you, Rachel? Three years old. And where are you from? Oh, you're four and one quarter. Oh, you just forgot. What? You're from Brooklyn. All right, cool. Brooklyn and New York. Here we go, guys. You ready? Smile. And don't move. Let's do this. Here we go. One, two, and three. Oh boy. Is this not working? Okay. Um. Owen, turn your body this way. Okay. This way. Okay. And your head that way. Okay. Good. Don't move. Stay still, okay? And you too, Rachel, your body this way and your head that way. Okay, perfect. <laughs> it's a little awkward. Um, let's uh, stand a little bit more closer. Okay, one more step. All right, a little bit more. Don't move, stay right there. You ready? Here we go. Let's all count to three together. One, two, I was just joking. Again, one. Two, three. <laughs> Let's do a rainbow bubble. <laughs> awesome, guys. You did a wonderful job. Let's give them a round of applause. All right. And let's give it to her first. Here we go. You want to put one hand under so it's easy to hold. Here we go. All right. Thanks. And this is for you. Enjoy. There we go. Oh, was there something wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you like this one, right? Okay. Well, can you give everyone another big smile? Thank you so much. You want to hold on to this too? There we go. Thank you, guys. Watch your step, okay? Here, let me help you. Danny, I'm really happy to be here at Google with you guys. And I mean, um, we love our job because we get to make everybody smile. It's not just kids. It's not just parents. It's, it's literally everybody. And it's something that we need every day in this time is to remind ourselves to just live in the moment, you know? So um, thank you guys. And we want to do one last thing for everyone. All right, where's Danny? Let's do this together. Let's get some music in here. Ready? Here we go.